Welcome back, everyone. We speak many times of the importance of serving as a patient advocate. One of the most important times is when we see negligence or abuse of vulnerable populations. As a collective effort to ensure our vulnerable are protected, we engage in mandatory reporting. Mandated reporters have an individual duty to report known or suspected abuse or neglect relating to children, dependent adults, or elders. So let's look at some definitions. A child is defined as anyone less than 18 years of age. A dependent adult falls between 18 and 64 years of age, and they also have physical or mental limitations which restrict their ability to carry out normal activities or protection of their rights. And finally, an elder who is 65 years of age or older. Some professions of reporters include social workers, teachers, healthcare workers, child care providers, law enforcement, mental health professionals, medical professionals, and clergy. There are general reporting statutes to consider. First is the good faith belief, and second is the reasonable suspicion. Now, there is protection for you under these general reporting statutes, and it provides for immunity from civil, criminal, and professional licensure actions. This is also a confidential report, and the identity of the reporter is hidden from the public. Good faith is a presumption that attaches to all reports, and it must be rebutted by another, for example, a family member, or even the alleged victim. Here are some guidelines to consider. You need to watch, look, and listen to your patient. Gather as much information as you can about the patient's concerns. Assess the patient constantly for any signs of physical abuse, mental anguish, fear, financial abuse, or any unusual behavior. Document your observations and conversations pursuant to your facility or agency's policy, and if forms are required, use them. Share your concerns with the individual identified in your facility or agency policy to do so. For example, your chief nursing officer, an administrator, or your risk manager. Visit websites in your state that deal with reporting abuse and neglect to obtain guidance, especially in the event your concerns are not supported by your agency or facility. The good news, most have direct hotlines for you to report your concerns without any agency support. Consult with a nurse attorney or an attorney to help guide you with the reporting, especially if you're not supported by your employer. If you're in home health nursing or even the emergency department or in a long-term facility and you and your patient are threatened, either of your lives are at risk or injury is a possibility, call security if available and 911. When filing your report, do so accurately and completely, including all content the agency report requires. Remember, when a mandatory duty to report violence against an individual or individuals exist, there is no exception to the directive. One must report without fail. So what did we learn today? We learned mandated reporters have an individual duty to report known or suspected abuse or neglect relating to children, dependent adults, or elders. Healthcare workers and medical professionals are included in the identified common professions of mandated reporters. There are statutes in place to protect those who report illegal and unethical behavior. And finally, as patient advocates, it's our ethical duty to report these occurrences. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on mandatory reporting. Thanks so much for watching.